In today's video, I'm gonna go over nine apps that have made my life so much easier as a freelance creator. I've been wanting to do this video for a while and I've had like seven or eight really strong ones, but I wanted to wait until I had nine really solid apps to recommend to you guys so that I can go over them in a really fun video. A number of these are free, a few are paid, but they're all really solid. Okay, so the first app is called CleanShot X, and CleanShot X is basically just an amazing souped up screen record, screen capture application that you can download. Basically replaces your Mac's default screenshot tool with something way more powerful and streamlined. I use it to record all of my screen recordings as well as take quick screenshots, screen captures. Once you've got CleanShot X open, if you just click and hold Shift Command 3, it'll automatically take a screenshot of your screen and it'll bring it down to one of these shelves here. You can double click this and it'll bring it up for you. And one of the great things here is that you can actually annotate it. And so you can circle things, you can annotate it any which way. There are a number of different options. You can highlight text, you can add text if you like, just really quick ways that you can annotate screenshots. It makes annotating screenshots really simple and really easy. And on top of that, once you press done, you can quickly click and drag and bring this to different folders folders and it'll automatically save it as a PNG for you. If you click Shift Command 4, it allows you to click and drag and select your screenshot. Again, you can annotate this, you can save it, you can share it. It's a really streamlined way to grab screenshots and it's a quick way to go ahead and just copy this or share this. It's also a fantastic way to record your screen. So I often use the record screen feature and you can record videos, you can record GIFs. It gives you a bunch of different options to show your cursor. And once you screen record, it again creates this little file that you can then go ahead and download you can click and drag it's really versatile and it also automatically records your audio or whatever mic setup you have so if you're doing screen records for presentations or like this tutorial you can actually screen record with your cursor and all of your movements and it'll also record an audio file for you so it's great for tutorials and stuff like that it's got so many great features and for the price tag i think it's 29 dollars for a one-time fee or if you have the set app it's like an online curated app store where if you pay like a subscription you get all the apps for free but honestly i've bought this once and i've used it every day since I purchased it, so it's been a really useful purchase. Okay, so the next app is called Vivid, and Vivid's pretty crazy. I'm so surprised I didn't find Vivid until maybe like a year ago. But what Vivid basically does is it boosts your MacBook or your studio display, or even my Pro Display XDR. It boosts the brightness past what Mac or Apple typically tells you is the maximum brightness. And basically what it does is it takes your true HDR brightness up to a thousand plus nits by bypassing Mac OS limitations. And it basically forces HDR rendering to make your screen brighter than what your max brightness typically is. It's kind of hard to showcase this on a screen recording, but basically what you do is you just click enable vivid and you'll see a significant boost in your brightness over what your traditional brightness used to be. And the way that you can tell your brightness is boosted is there will be this little icon right here. So this used to be my max brightness on the MacBook, but once you go past your max brightness, all of a sudden you'll see this icon and this will show you the vivid brightness. And now you've got amazing brightness, even in, let's say like outdoor situations, this comes super handy, or if you're in like a really bright lit studio or indoor situation. I use it for color grading and I'd highly recommend just going ahead and downloading the free trial and it'll basically show you a before and after with and without Vivid. And honestly, you'll immediately tell a difference. The one-time license, again, this is not a subscription. It's like 10 euros, like $10, it's super worth it. The next app is called Caffeine. Caffeine is an open source app that basically toggles on and off just by this little icon right here. And when you turn on the coffee mug, it basically prevents your Mac from going to sleep. Super useful if you're going ahead and doing like screen recording or you're exporting or you're doing things in the background tasks where you don't want your Mac to fall asleep. I just go ahead and turn on Caffeine and it just prevents my Mac from going to sleep and runs everything. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and toggle off the coffee if you want. You can actually right click and figure out how long you want your Mac to be activated for. I'd usually choose indefinitely, but you can even set it to like one hour, two hours, five hours. The great thing, caffeine is totally free. It's open source. I'll have it linked down below. Next up is the ChatGPT Mac app. Now ChatGPT, I use for a lot of different things, whether it's creative brainstorming or whether it's just like minute tasks in the day-to-day -day life where you're just trying to get like, you know, do a little research. ChatGPT itself is free and the Mac app is also free. I have it toggled here. If you select option space, it'll toggle up this ChatGPT basically shortcut. And from here, you can do anything. It's really easy to just quickly ask it for things without having to open up the app or go on your phone. Just having that shortcut of option space to quickly toggle on ChatGPT 
GPT is a lifesaver. It's super useful. You can even quickly drag in photos for references. You can do screenshots to choose your model, everything. You can even click and drag your photos into here directly into this little box. And it just saves a lot of time from having to open up the app and go through ChatGPT and gives you all the functionalities of ChatGPT. You can select your model. You can upload files directly through here. It's just a really great streamlined way to utilize ChatGPT within your Mac. Going off of recommendations, another great recommendation, especially if you're a YouTube creator, is the sponsor of today's video, Milks. If you're a YouTuber like me, you know how annoying it is to wait 30 to 45 days for your AdSense payout. Milks fixes that. It's basically a finance app made just for creators. With Milks, you can get your YouTube money daily, not monthly, using PayPal, cards, crypto, whatever works best for you. Getting started takes like a minute. Download the Milks app for free, connect your channel, and that's it, you're good to go. What's cool is Milks isn't just about payouts. It's built to help creators actually manage their money. It supports over 10 payout options and 40 plus currencies. You can send your money to editors or freelancers inside the app, no fees. And my favorite part, active funds. If you qualify, you can unlock up to six months of future YouTube earnings in advance. That means you can upgrade your setup, hire help, whatever you need without waiting for AdSense to hit. The app's super clean and easy to use, not boring, not complicated. And if you wanna try it out, scan the QR code or hit the link in the description. And when you connect your channel, Milks gives you $25 just to get started. Big thanks to Milks for sponsoring this video and for supporting creators like us. The next app on this list is Supercharge. And Supercharge is honestly, it just supercharges everything. There's just so many options through this app. Basically what it does is it allows you full functionality and control of various features of your Mac. For instance, we can go ahead and shift directly to dark mode. You can go to night shift, grayscale mode, low power mode, all directly from this panel. You could also toggle on your desktop icons, your widgets, function keys. You can mute your sound, your IS notifications directly from here. You can also hide all of your windows, quit all of your apps, eject all disks. And to be honest, I haven't even gotten through all the functionalities of Supercharge. There's so many different things that you can customize. And especially if you're like a really particular person on how your desktop looks or how things function, this is a great app. And it's honestly pretty cheap. I think it's like, you can name your price in Gumroad, but it's under $11, I think. And so one-time payment. Again, if you have Set App, which is like an online subscription service to a multitude of different apps, this comes included in that. But for one-time payment, the amount of functionality you get from Supercharge is pretty amazing. You can create shortcuts to quickly toggle through all these features. It's basically extremely customizable. If you like creating shortcuts for all of your actions, it's super useful. So for instance, I like to clear all of my notifications. I just have that as Command 8. And the amount of functionality you get from this app is honestly pretty breathtaking. It's really useful. The next app is called Dropover. Dropover is really useful for people who want to copy and paste different files. You can grab a bunch of files and drop them into this virtual shelf. And now you have this kind of just floating on your screen and you can go ahead and click and drag this into a different folder really easily and it'll copy and paste all of your images or all of your files really quickly. Alternatively, you could copy these to iCloud or drop over, message them, email them, do a bunch of different things. You can also resize a bunch of photos, which is really useful, convert the format, compress them, create PDFs. I find the image actions some of the most useful features of this particular app. Alternatively, instead of actually dropping these to a shelf, you can actually quickly bring them to an airdrop, which I found super useful, or bring them to a copy dropover link. This is my favorite feature where I just quickly can airdrop things to my devices and it's really simple, it's really streamlined. And a great feature about this, if you go to your shelves and you go to recent shelves, it actually saves your recent shelves that you've used in the past. And that way, if you want to go back to kind of like a recent shelf that you accidentally deleted or something, you can quickly bring these back and it'll showcase exactly what you had in the shelf and then you can basically do all the same functionalities, but just with your history. Dropover is really nice. There's a free trial if you wanna try it out, but I think it's like $5.99, $6 one-time payment. Honestly, no brainer. Next up is an app called Folder Preview. And Folder Preview basically is a quick extension to help show quickly like what inside a folder is, which is something that is lacking in Mac OS for whatever reason. So if you got this folder traditionally, you'd have to open it or click this down arrow to see what's inside this folder. But if you just press space, it'll really quickly show you exactly what's in your folder. And this is really useful if you have a bunch of files and are unorganized like myself, and you just have things in files and you wanna know kind of like what generally is in each folder. This is a great way just to press space space, see what's in a folder, and it makes my life way easier in terms of organizing things. And for I think $3.99, it's pretty useful. The next app is called 
Ina, and Ina is basically a replacement for QuickTime. QuickTime is notoriously not that great on Mac. So Ina is basically an open source video player that you can use to quickly open up any sort of video files. And it's basically just a replacement for QuickTime. It's free. It works with almost every codec and video file imaginable. And it also is really great. Notoriously, if you do color grading and use QuickTime a lot, sometimes you notice that the colors don't match specifically on your display between QuickTime and Finder. I found that Ina is really good for color matching and it's really useful, really simple. And the UI is pretty nice. I think it's pretty pleasing, better than QuickTime. And I kind of just have it as my default video player instead of VLC or QuickTime. And I've just been using Ina. It's free, really great option. And I have it just automatically set up where anytime I open up a video file, it'll automatically open up Ina instead of QuickTime. And the last app is called the Rectangle. Rectangle is completely free. And basically what it does is it supercharges your tiling abilities on Mac. So if you just click and drag and hold, traditionally Mac OS, you can easily kind of like tile left and right, but you can't tile kind of like creatively like this into various different shapes. You can customize rectangle with different shortcuts. You can get really detailed on how you tile your windows for Mac. This is great for productivity. Oftentimes when we're doing color grading or doing a couple different things where I have kind of an app here, maybe I'm doing like file management or something and I have like a window here, a window here, you can get even crazier. And let's say you can even set it up where you have three windows at once. It's really simple to quickly snap to grids. It's a lot more powerful than the traditional tiling that's already built into Mac OS and for free, I mean, you can't beat it. So yeah, those are nine Mac apps that have honestly changed my life over the last few years. If you have any productivity tools or apps that you found really useful, please share them in the comments down below. I'm always on the hunt for new apps, new things to elevate my productivity and make my life a lot easier. As always, if you're interested in my color grading, my LUTs, sound effects, transitions, any of my assets, please check the link down below for my store. And thanks a lot for sticking around to the very end. I'll see you guys in the next one.